I may have a new addiction. I can't even English right now. I've just come out of the gym. I think I may have found a new addiction to which I have fallen victim. Oh. Yeah, so welcome back. This is vlog number 35, day 35, video 35 of the vlog journey, vlog series, whatever I've called it so far. My daily vlog. Hello and welcome back. Let me turn the radio off. Don't want another copyright strike. That happens far too often on YouTube. Oh, let's open this window for a minute. I just need to breathe, chill, get some oxygen back in the legs, get some control over them. Oh, still a bit shaky in places. Oh, yeah, so addiction, addiction, addiction. I am. Um, I told myself a couple of days ago that no cars. I told myself a couple of days ago that I should stop buying so many books because I am currently buying them faster than I can read them, which is a given because no one's going to read a book in the time it takes you to buy a book. You know, the exchange of cash or swiping your card or tapping your card, as it's called now nowadays for the exchange of a book. Um, so I stopped in one of our local charity bookshops again this morning and bought yet another three. Let me just try and find a gap in this traffic. Bought yet another three very helpful, very useful books that have been recommended. Oh, sorry, let me just get out of here. Oh, thank you very much. But I've been recommended through the grapevine on some, um, what are they called? There's like a, there's a helpful book library account or something like that on Instagram. And despite, well, I say despite, I've already got quite a few of the books and have read a few of them that are recommended on there so they all seem to fall into the same criteria of interest that I have recently discovered i.e. personal development <clears throat> so yeah the three I got are here in the bag don't sort through groceries whilst driving that's right I'm stopping now anyway select another gear I'll get them out in a minute um, but it's, it's just irresistible because, so the charity bookshop that I usually frequent is Oxfam. And oh, someone's literally just parked on the pavement. Some people around here, unreal. Um, yeah, Oxfam bookshop. And okay, so it used to be a lot cheaper there. Uh, you used to find books in there for like 30p, 50p, 99p, pound, whatever. It seems to be that the current minimum price is 199 per book. I did find one the other day that was 50p, but that's because it was less than 100 pages, I think. Or maybe it was just a really old book that was still lurking from the old pricing model. But all of the books, or the majority of the books, sell for £1.99, which, when you look at the original sale prices, or the SRPs, or the RRPs, or whatever it is, on the back cover, you're only paying between five and ten percent of the original cash value for the book, and you're still it's not like you're losing any value from that. You're still getting the full value of the book, unless someone's gone through and ripped out some of the pages, which I've yet to find to be the case. I've not come across one with pages missing. I did find one book that appeared to have a bite out of one of the pages, which was really weird. Um that's nice parking, dickhead. <clears throat> yeah, so a page appeared to have a bite or something out of it. Um, let's just park up here. But no, I haven't found any books with m missing entire pages or multiples of pages or whatever. So let's get parked up here. We Bosh. And we're in. and breathe yeah so the three books i picked up one of them never heard of this book or the author 
um, Fiona Harold. Be Your Own Life Coach, How to Take Control of Your Life and Achieve Your Wildest Dreams. Uh, yeah, so that one originally cost $6.99 and was published in 2000. So it's a 23-year-old book. And it's in fairly good condition as well. I'm not going to complain about that. £1.99 for that. So that's decent. Then this one, not the best condition. Looks like it had something spilled on it. But that's only on the outside cover. Um, this is one a lot of people would have heard of. Um, Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. That one retailed originally at 9 99 so only paid 20% of the original value. And this one, I should know when this was published because I've researched this book before. Uh, this one's from 1999. Well, the original, this particular edition is from 2011. So again, £1.99. Can't complain. Some good philosophy in there. And then book number three, this one I've seen before um, in Waterstones. I picked it up and I thought, oh wow, this could be a really good read, but it was full price. And at the time I didn't have, I didn't have the motivation to part with the money. So this is Rethink How to Think Differently by Nigel May Barlow. And there's a picture of someone sitting in the bath. It might be the author himself. I have no idea. So that was originally twelve ninety nine, and I paid again one ninety nine. And this one was published. Let's see. Um, oh, copyright two thousand six. I was going to say twenty twenty six. That's impossible. Two thousand six. So yeah. Cool. I look forward to reading these. Of course, I've got a lot of other ones to read first. I did actually start reading a second book um, this morning. So currently I'm reading two. Uh, the first one, the thickest of the lot currently, is Money by Rob Moore. Very insightful. Very. It's a very fun read. The way Rob writes is a very... It's, it's a very modern way. It's it's fairly fast paced um, and relatable. So it, it's a nice, fun read um, and very insightful, very uh, helpful, lots of information. Um, and then the other one I'm, I've started reading is called The 20% Rule by Catherine... Catherine, what's her last name? I can't remember now, but that's a very new book. That was published in 2021. So it was, it, the book I believe was written as a result of some experiences that the author went through during the pandemic and a few other life experiences. So um, yeah, there's a lot of up-to-date information. There's a few things she says in there that I don't quite agree with, Uh but then there are other things that she says, and I'm like, oh, wow, why haven't I thought of that? And it it's specifically geared towards small businesses or small business owners, I should say. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll find some useful info in there. Right. I'm going to go shower now because I am s still sweating from the gym. I didn't bother having shower because the showers in the gym don't... They're one temperature and it's warm to hot. I like to have a cold shower, ice cold shower after the gym. So recently I've been coming straight home from the gym and just sticking the cold tap on and standing there for five minutes before I, you know, turn it hot and wash. So, yeah, really appreciating cold showers at the moment, especially now when it's really cold outside. So naturally all of the cold water supply pipes are extra cold. So the water that comes out of the cold tap is icy cold, which is nice. I need to get a th thermometer and actually see how cold it is because it is, it is intensely refreshing some mornings, which is nice. It's nice. It's all nice. It's all nice. Yeah. 
Okay, that's enough babbling from me. I need to go sneak in these books past my wife so she doesn't moan about them. <laughs> no, she's fine with it, I'm sure. Although I'm running out of space, so I'm going to have to stop buying books. Okay, anyway, have a great day. It's Tuesday. This has been vlog 35. I nearly said 34 then. This is 35, I'm sure of it. Um, I will catch up with you again tomorrow. Um, if the sun's out where you are, enjoy it. It certainly is here. But I won't be enjoying too much of it because I've got things to do. Um, yeah, until tomorrow, have a great afternoon and evening ahead.